Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, we're checking out the Neumann MA1 Monitor Alignment and Calibration System. Let's get started. Norman's DSP-based studio monitors include the KH80 DSP here on my left and the KH750 DSP subwoofer here on my right. They offer a ton of power for optimizing the speakers to your room for ideal frequency response and phase alignment. The MA1 system combines a calibrated measurement microphone and a software app for Mac and PC to quickly and easily set up the speakers for best response. Using the KH750 sub, you can even use this system with non-DSP monitors, such as the Neumann KH120 or KH310. If we take a closer look at the monitors themselves, the KH80 DSP has a 4-inch woofer and a 1-inch dome tweeter with 120 watts of power driving the woofer and 70 watts driving the tweeter. But the defining feature in these monitors is the network-controllable DSP power that's built in, accessible using the Ethernet port here on the back panel. You can set it up for stereo or as a 5.1 or larger surround monitoring system as well. Now I did a full overview of the KH80 DSP monitors a while back. You can find a link for that video in the description below. Likewise, the KH750 subwoofer has built-in network controllable DSP. It has a 10-inch driver and 256 watts of power on board. You can combine it with non-DSP monitors, as I mentioned before, the KH120 or the KH310s, and I've got the KH120s here today. They offer a 5.25-inch woofer and a 1-inch dome tweeter with a total of 100 watts of power. You have response shaping capability on the back panel of any of these monitors that I have here today, but with the KH80 and the KH750 sub, the built-in DSP processing allows for much more acoustic and alignment control. Set this up using the MA1 system. Again, that combines the MA1 calibrated measurement microphone and software for Mac or PC. Now the DSP in the KH80 and the KH750 includes powerful equalization with multiple fully parametric IIR filters, plus high and low shelf EQs. It also has FIR phase correction and more. But the challenge with a powerful system like this can be to figure out how to set the EQ and phase correction up for the best results in your particular room. And the MA1 system aims to make this transparent, automatic, and easy using custom algorithms in the software to control the entire process. And one of the great things about the MA1 system is that all the processing takes place inside these monitors. Once you have them calibrated properly, you don't need to run any software on your computer or you don't need to insert any plugins in your DAW. Everything is remembered and handled by the DSP inside the actual speakers. The MA1 system works by using the included measurement microphone to capture the acoustical characteristics of your room and of the monitors in your room, then applying DSP processing to adapt the signal to match a predefined target curve. You simply connect your monitors to your audio interface's outputs, connect the measurement microphone to the microphone input on your interface, and then you also connect the monitors to your computer's Ethernet port. And you only need that Ethernet connection while the calibration process is taking place. Once it's finished, you no longer need to be connected by Ethernet. Once you have those three connections made, the software guides you through the entire process. To find out how well the system works, I took the KH750 subwoofer to my home studio. My regular studio monitors are a set of KH120s. I've had them for a long time and know them really well. I've tried a lot of great monitors in my studio, but I believe that the KH120s match my room really well. So I was very curious just how much difference it would make to hook them up with a KH750 sub and use the DSP to optimize everything for my space. Now, of course, the sub is going to extend the bottom end of the system, but what would the DSP optimization do for the system? Let's take a trip over to my studio and find out. Welcome to my home studio. I've got a pretty basic setup here. My monitoring consists of two Neumann KH120 speakers. I've got a bit of acoustic treatment in here, but that's about it. I'm really in a small bedroom in my house. It's a very basic setup. I've been listening to these KH120 monitors for a long time in this room, so I know them really well. Now when I started this review, I added the KH750 subwoofer under my desk and worked it into the system as well. And I've been setting that up by ear, just basically tuning it in by listening to tracks, listening to my mixes and things. It's not a very scientific way to set a subwoofer, but it's the way a lot of us do it. Now the trick is not to add too much subwoofer in. It's easy to want to hear a lot of that boom on the bottom end. But I try to keep it to where the subwoofer is just reinforcing those low frequencies for me. To take things to the next level, I'm going to incorporate the MA1 app and microphone to analyze the system and set it up properly for the room. So the MA1 microphone is here, it's a condenser microphone, and basically you put this vertically on a stand in front of your speakers in the listening position, run the app, and it takes you through all the steps you need to set everything up. So let's get started doing that. 
I have the MA-1 microphone positioned in my listening position. It's basically at ear height when I'm sitting in my chair, equidistant between the two speakers, and the two speakers are about equidistant apart as well, so I've got an equilateral triangle going here. I've launched the MA-1 app on my computer, and it'll walk me through all the steps that I need to make this whole process happen. To set the system up, we connect the microphone to our audio interface, which is also connected to the speakers via the subwoofer. And then the subwoofer connects to the computer via Ethernet. So you tell the app what network you're connected to, and then it can access all the DSP settings inside the subwoofer. There are two modes for operating the KH750 subwoofer, local and network. With local, the onboard or back panel controls determine what happens with the subwoofer. With network, it's controlled via Ethernet and the app, so that's the way I've got it set right now. I've got the KH120 set to their flat, neutral position, none of the controls are engaged. Next up, the app will ask you for the serial number and the code that are printed right on the microphone itself. These microphones are very flat, but each one does have a frequency response curve, and by inputting that serial number and code, the app can compensate for the exact frequency curve of this specific microphone to make sure everything's 100% ruler flat. Next, we'll tell the app what monitors we have connected. In my case, I've got the KH750 subwoofer and KH120 main monitors. Next up, the app will make sure that our volume levels are set properly so we get an accurate reading with the microphone. The app now asks for the distance between the speakers as well as the distance of the mic from each speaker. In my case, that equilateral triangle is 92 centimeters on each side. And now the app will start making its measurements. We need to have a silent room, so we've closed all the doors, all the windows. There's no talking. You don't want to make any noise while any of this is happening. So our first measurement is done. The app goes through a series of frequency sweeps, and now it tells us to move the microphone to a different position, 23 centimeters to the side. Our second measurement is done, and now we'll continue through the remaining five measurements for a total of seven measurements at different locations in the room. So we finished our seven measurements at our center position, to the left, to the right, up, down, forward, and back. At this point, we can move on to the next step with the app. For this part of the process, the app analyzes the measurements and creates a target frequency response curve for the room and then applies those settings into the subwoofer. We can also go in and adjust the curve if we like. Once you've finished, you simply save all those settings into the monitor, and now we no longer need the app, we no longer need the microphone, it's all handled right inside the subwoofer. Okay, so time has passed and I've been spending a bunch of time listening to different tracks, my reference tracks, mixes, all those things I use to evaluate a room or speakers when I'm testing them out. There's a big difference going on here now that the MA-1 has done its magic with the subwoofer. We've got a lot more clarity in the room. The lower mid-range is really cleaned up. It's really opened up. Because of that, the top end is now much more open. I have better stereo imaging. Everything seems wider and deeper. I can hear reverbs much more clearly. But a big difference is that it now seems like one continuous big speaker system as opposed to separate studio monitors and a subwoofer. Before, when I was listening to it, I was always conscious of the fact that there was a subwoofer down there. It would seem like it would activate on certain notes, the room would resonate, and so on. Now with the digital processing in place inside the KH750, all that's been cleaned up, and we've got continuous frequency response from very low to very high. It's very smooth, and it's undetectable where the subwoofer starts and where the studio monitors start. Really a cool system that makes a huge difference in the clarity and the quality of what you're hearing in your room. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Norman's MA1 DSP Monitor Alignment and Calibration System. We saw it in action with the KH750 subwoofer providing DSP processing for my studio's KH120 monitors. The system was fast and easy to set up, and it made a big difference in my room. The room sounded good before, but it sounded noticeably better after. Now, if you don't need a subwoofer, or you're looking for a compact set of monitors to use on the go or in smaller rooms, but you still want all the advantages of that DSP processing, then check out the KH80 DSP monitors. They're super compact speakers that sound fantastic, and with the onboard DSP processing, they'll match perfectly to whatever environment you use them in. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.